Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Flat Earth Sage, and I'm over here at the Casa Grande ruins in, uh, I believe, Cool Coolidge, Arizona. Please keep off the walls, okay? Alice, keep off the walls. <laughs> I'm over here with my dog, Alice. We're just over here checking out the ruins. Let's see. I don't really know too much about these ruins, so let's uh, read this. The open space be behind you and to your right are called plazas. Here you might have watched food preparations, pottery making, spinning, weaving, basket making, and other chores. In winter, people worked out in the cold plazas where the sun could warm them. In summer, they sought shade alongside building or worked under breezy ramadas open weave wood and brush overhead shelters oh, okay people use the rooms here in the compound for family sleeping quarters storage and, cer and ceremonies uh, you could pass into some rooms through doors in the walls others you could only enter from a rooftop hatch by climbing ladders which is really interesting because uh, in uh, Mexico I remember when I um, went to visit some of the Mayan structures, some of the Mayan pyramids, some of them actually had these hatches. And uh, it would be about halfway up the pyramid steps, and there usually would be a little hatch, would be a little entrance way into it. Um, and wow, look at this, guys. This is crazy. Not a whole lot left, huh? Oh, the the Hoho Cam culture. Interesting. Come on, Alice. It's quite interesting. <clears throat> kind of a shame that you can't go inside, though. I must say. Look at this, guys. Oh, my goodness. Come on, Alf. Come on. No, we can't go in there, buddy. I'm sorry. Come on. We can look. We can't go in. Look at this. Interesting. Pigeons. <laughs> it's interesting. It looks like some sort of asphalt or something over there. Huh. It looks like some sort of I don't know what that is. It looks a little too small to be a passageway, be a door or anything. Ah, no, Alice. See, I don't mind respecting the rules and not going in, but it seems my dog really wants to go in there. Sorry, Alice, you can't go in, buddy. I know. I wish we could. Kind of a shame, cause let's see. Well, it says I can't go in. It didn't say I couldn't get close to the gate. Hmm. Interesting. Look how smooth these walls used to be. You can just tell by looking in the inside. Nice smooth walls. And there's 
some more stuff over there. Can't get any closer because of the gate, but at least I can get a better look. Come on, Alice. Pretty, pretty dang cool. That easily looks like a two or three story building right there. Hmm, it's interesting. In the 17 and early 1800s, only a trickle of travelers came from the Casa Grande. The first Spanish explorers and Mexican and American travelers wondered who built the ruin and why. Well, yeah, it's an incredible structure. Uh, more people visit after 1879, where the, where the railroad first reached the town of Casa Grande, 19 miles away. Um, travelers scratched their names into the walls. Well, I mean, that's not really cool. That's desecration. Um, some took away artifacts and even pieces of the walls as souvenirs. This is why we can't go inside, guys. Because of people like this who can't respect our history. In 1889, Congress passed to protect Casa Grande ruins from further vandalism and looting. They voted to pay for clearing away debris and repairing the eroded foundations. The wooden beams and metal rods you see today were installed in 1891. Dang. To brace up some of the walls, Casa Grande, the first archaeological preserve. Oh, who named Casa Grande? A Jesuit missionary. Huh. Can't really say I'm surprised. Can't really say I'm surprised. Explorer and map and map maker. You how do you say his name? I might I'm sure I'm gonna butcher this. Eusebio Francisco Kino. 1645. First European to see and document these ruins. Called the building Casa Grande for Great House. Now yeah, that'd be a pretty fitting name, I would say. You know, we got even got stuff like this right here. Like, look, it's got like it's got six holes there. I'm not sure what that would be used for, unless it unless at one point there was another wall on the opposite side with holes there too, and it was kind of like they put wooden beams in there. Maybe that's just a theory. Um, but these walls, yeah, they're very, very delicate and fragile, for sure. Got some more, some more things over here. My dog just does not want to stop at all. <laughs> She's always, always got to be moving. Come on, buddy. Come on. Over here. Look at this. This is amazing right here. Look at this. All these probably used to be... I'm guessing all these were buildings at one point. It's 
kind of crazy that these are the only ruins, really. Kind of surprising. It's kind of small for a civ for a settlement, I would say. But, you know. Oh, look. Wow, this is how it used to be? Hmm, it's a lot different from what we see today. He, he even got... Is that a crane? Here in the... Here in the Sonoran Desert? Says they... Near Casa Grande ruins, the ancestral Sonoran Desert people irrigate as many as 19,000 acres of crops. Jeez, and I'm struggling just to grow a few. <laughs> oh. All right, Alice, relax. Other than that, there's not really too much other things here. But I'll tell you what, it was worth the hour close it was about an hour and close to an hour and 20 minute drive but it's definitely worth the trip i love history i love learning about history i'm gonna have to do some research and see